Alright, so today in part 4 of the NMRA kit building contest, we are going to be painting and finishing the building. First off, we have to paint it, and I'm going to be painting it with this Vallejo Foundation White and some Craft Paint Olive Green. To paint it, I masked off the top so that it would have a straight line, and then I freehanded the bottom just because I didn't want to mask it and I wanted to try freehanding it. And I'm going to be weathering it with this Tamiya weathering kit and that gloss finish that you just saw. This is what it looks like. I didn't do a whole lot of work with the weathering powders, but I think it looks good. Now we need to do the trim. You need to size it and then cut it to fit. I cut it with a number 18 X-Acto blade, or you could use a chop it. To glue it in, I just used some white glue and then set it in and let it dry for about 25 minutes. I found a different way to do the trim. You can cut it with a pair of wire cutters, but this doesn't look as nice and you have to sand it down more. I'm just going to leave in me finishing the rest of the trim because you liked it when I did that last time. I decided not to do what I was originally planning on doing for the window. I am just going to board up the window with a piece of plywood from the sprue that the building came in. And then I'm going to trim it out with some extra trim and then just glue it on in front of the window. I'm just going to paint it white and put some light weathering on it just so that it looks a little bit different. To trim it, I just used some extra trim that came with the kit and cut one to size and then matched the other one up with a number 18 blade. I painted the windows Rust Oleum Semi Gloss Hunter Green. This looks a little bit different than the olive green that I put on the building, and I like how they look. I will be finishing this model with a flat finish so that glossy look will go away. I just super glued this one window in, but then I ended up getting super glue in my eye and I switched over to white glue. For the front door, I installed the front uh, wall incorrectly actually, so I had to carve out a whole lot of the top part of where the door goes so that it would fit correctly. Uh, it was completely my fault though because I did not use a square when installing this wall. figured that this is a good time to mention this. If you guys want me to go rail fanning with the world according to Justin and do a collaboration with him. Please leave a comment down below saying that you do, because if I don't get enough comments saying that you want me to do it, then I won't do it. For the trim on the side with the door on it, you have to actually slide the trim in. You can't just press it in. And then, as usual, I just secured it with white glue. I should have started weathering after I put the trim in and painted it, but I didn't, so I had to mask off the trim and paint it accordingly. I decided to do the roof as a separate video because it's going to be pretty complicated to put on, but besides that, this is what my dad has been doing with his building. He's a little bit farther ahead on the diorama than I am, but I think that's fine. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to look at the links in the description to get your kits, but be sure to do it because the contest, the contest closes April 1st.